Hey guys, how are we doing today? Um, look who I have. It is Raymond and Marima. <laughs> okay, so this is, I don't even know how many times now we've tried to film this video. Um, I had a very nice long video. Um, it was over 10 minutes. Tom was the recorder and somehow it's vanished. It's gone. So we're, and we were outside and we were, I was showing you when we first got her. Um, but that video's gone. So we're just going to do another quick one in the house here because it's dang cold out. Um, and tomorrow we will do some filming outside. So here's Raina the Marema. And um, we can talk a little bit about um, what we're doing, how we're starting, where we're going, what the plan is. Um, so she is two years old. She is a purebred Marema. And um, so she's a very nervous girl by nature. Um, the original owner said she's been like that since she got her at eight weeks old. So she's just always been a very nervous girl. She was um, acquired with the, oh, good girl, with the um, intention of being a livestock guardian dog. That just did not come to fruition, which is oftentimes just what happens. Um, so she's been pretty much a house dog. So our goal here is to get some work under her. She doesn't really have any leash work. Um, she doesn't really know any commands other than sit. So we're going to start there with basics. Um, although she's been a house dog, she is not house broke. So we're going to start there. We're going to start with leash work. We're going to start with just some real basics and then a lot of desensitizing because she is very nervous about pretty much anything out there. Um, leaves, the wind, tarps blowing. So that is where we are going to start. Um, the leash really freaks her out. She likes to kind of barrel roll or alligator roll. Um, she's also, I guess, really good at slipping a collar. So we're gonna need to get a martingale on her to make it safer for everybody. We're going to slap a tag on her with our phone number on it, should she get away. Um, because when you get a new dog like this, they have no idea where home is. They don't know where they are, and it can just get to be really bad really quick. So, um, But she just is just nervous, fast movements, um, new noises, everything's just kind of scaring her. So um, as expected, as soon as we got her out of the vehicle, our livestock guardian dogs went a little crazy and a lot of barking and big bravado and just carrying on like twits like like they normally would but we're keeping a big distance between them and her and um baby steps baby steps right baby Raina girl girl mm -hmm. so she's met Gus our chocolate lab a little bit he's very excited and he's a lot of energy to take in anyway at five months old and she was like, mm, mm -mm, I'm going to utilize your couch here in your house, though, but thank you. And uh, so we're going to get that out of the way. She also comes with um, a history of resource guarding, a.k.a. food aggression. Um, she was previously housed with a German Shepherd and um, a couple other dogs, I think. So um, we're going to have to work through that. Yeah, lots of changes, lots of changes. But... Um, she's way more comfortable in the house than what she was outside. And it's really windy and really cold today. And I was not about to re-record that long video outside again because it's too dang cold for that. So tomorrow, maybe it'll be less windy and we can work on just getting some leash work in, walking around a little bit better, and just baby steps, baby steps. So um, Jeremy, that you saw before, is nine. She's never been around little ones that young before. She, so she gets to learn about that. Um, she's a little bit more nervous of Tom, but Tom's got that deep voice and he's got facial hair and he's got a hood on today. And it's just, it can be intimidating when you're new and a little afraid of things. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Yeah, it's a lot going on, but you're going to be okay. So um, initially we're just going to start this out like, you would any normal dog. The training of getting them acclimated to livestock guardian dogs, that will come. 
um, the first step, the first foundation of making a good livestock guardian dog is establishing a bond and trust. Um, I can't expect her to lay down her life and protect me and my stuff if she doesn't trust and respect me first. I ha and I have to trust her and she has to trust me. It's a mutual thing. It's a two-way street. And trust isn't happening overnight. So it's not a race. This is not a sprint. Especially when you've only had one owner pretty much your whole life. She's two. Uh, her previous owners had her since she was eight weeks old. So this is a huge upheaval for her. Big adjustment. All right, baby girl. Reign of the Marema. Um, she seems to be in good health. She's up to date on her vaccinations. She does have uh, entropy and eye on one eye. You're not going to let me probably see it very well. That's okay. So, uh, entropy and eye is basically like a droop eye. You'll see it's kind of like that. You can have it in one eye, both eyes. Um, it's a genetic defect. It's a genetic thing. It doesn't usually pose a huge issue. Um, we'll keep an eye on it. Um, I don't think it excessively waters. Her previous owner says. Hasn't really caused her any issues. Right, baby? Are you a good girl? So yeah, we're just kind of letting her feel her way through this, getting used to our noises, our sounds, our movements, all the things. We're going to have to get used to her and just um, a slow process. Right, baby? You're nervous. Aw. It's okay to be nervous. It's okay to be nervous. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Girl, you are. It's okay. I like the fact that she jumped up on the couch right away. Our house is obviously very lived in and very pet friendly. So the fact that she's comfortable enough to hop up here and lay down makes me feel good that she's not cowering somewhere under a table or in a corner. She's not snarling and barking and growling at anybody. Um, we're panting like crazy, but I mean, that, that's nothing terrible at all. It could be a lot worse, believe me. Yes, ma'am. Are you a good girl? Yeah. Oh, I know. Life is rough, girlfriend. Girlfriend, life is hard, huh? Yeah. So, please join us with on this journey. I'm going to post all this stuff. I'm going to um, start a series on YouTube um, on Reina the Marema, and um, I'll do more in-depth stuff on Patreon, um, some more behind the scenes stuff, um, and just kind of take you guys with. Um, we're not going to like slam anybody or shame anybody or make anybody feel bad for anything that was done before because she had a very nice home um, before life just changed for her owner. And you can't do better if you don't know better. And so nothing is broken. Nothing can't be undone. Nothing can't be fixed. Um, she's not ruined. She's not broken. Um, nothing drives me more crazy is, is when people refer to their livestock and, and say, or their livestock guardian dogs and say, well, this is a livestock guardian dog failure or this is a broken livestock guardian dog or I ruined her or whatever. You can't ruin them. Well, I mean, I guess you could if you tried really hard, but nothing is ruined. Nothing can't be fixed. Nothing can't be repaired. So. It'll be okay, guys. Oh, gosh. And look who we have here. Now we got this knothead. He's like, I, wa I want to see my new friend. Okay. He's an idiot. I swear to God, he's an idiot. He's a crazy puppy, huh? He's cray-cray. I guess we're going to go play with a puppy and learn to deal with that energy because it's a lot. Right, girl? He's a lot, huh? Wish us luck, guys.